Hi there. In this video, we're going to look at part four of the digital notebook over Venn diagrams and sets. I want to apologize ahead of time. I am kind of on a time crunch to get this recorded for you. So the edit here might be a little rough. And I just pray that you'll forgive me um, and really hear my heart that I'm trying to get out the content for you so that you have it in a timely manner. If you um, need the link to the digital notebook, I'll definitely put it in the comments. That way you can make a copy and work through the examples as well with us. So if you'll go to slide number two, we have been working through the first three sections of module one, and now we're ready to look at set notation. So we're going to click that set notation, that pink bar there. And that's going to take us to slide 18. Now we have been working in Venn diagrams previously with our <clears throat> examples with the civic Honda civic models and also with um, the ecosystems project. Um, but this one's a little unique. <clears throat> so let's take a look at um, what we have been given. We've been told that we are dealing with students, Taylor, Sophie, Brianna, Claire, Carlos, Maria, Van, Leon, and Juan. And we're told that which classes these students have. So Brianna and Carlos, Taylor and Leon have history. Juan, Taylor, Sophie, and Claire have math. Carlos, Maria, Juan, Van, and Sophie have science. Okay, so we're gonna set up a Venn diagram for these students. We'll begin by labeling each circle a particular subject. So for the top circle, we'll make it my favorite, which is math. On the bottom left, we'll make it history. And then we'll make science. And then the universal, that's going to be everyone that we're actually including. So you notice my universal is not inside any circle. That's important. Okay, next I'm going to place a red triangle in one of the sections and I'm going to move this red triangle, or let's just make it um, red here. I'm going to move this red triangle around as we talk about different sections, just so you know which one I'm talking about. So this section here in the middle, you'll notice is where all three circles overlap. So this is for the student who has history, math, and science. So take a minute, look at the list. Do you find a student who has history, math, and science? No, we don't. No, none of the students have all three. So we're going to leave this section in the middle empty. We're not going to put any student there. Notice that I'm starting in the middle and I'm going to kind of work my way out of the Venn diagram. <clears throat> so I'm going to move my red triangle so we can talk about this section. For this one, notice that math and history overlap. So that we want to put students in here who have math and history. So take a look in the list. Who has math and history? That's Taylor. That's right. So we're going to drag and put Taylor there in this section of the Venn diagram because Taylor had math and history. Okay. I'm going to move my red triangle around to another section for us to look at. So notice this section is where the math circle overlaps with the science circle. So we need students who are in math and science. So look through your list. I see Juan. Juan has math and science. So we'll put Juan in this um, section. And I also noticed Sophie has math and science. So we'll put Sophie in this section of the Venn diagram. Remember, we don't want to put anything in this middle section because none of the students had all three. Okay, let's move our red triangle now into this section. This is the section that overlaps the history and the science. So I need a student who has history and science. Which of the students have history and science? It looks like just Carlos. So we'll put Carlos in this section of the Venn diagram. All right, we've taken care now of all of the overlap pieces of the Venn diagram. So now we'll deal with the sections that aren't overlap. So here in this section, notice we're in the history circle. We already have Taylor and Carlos. So we need anybody else who's taking history and they're only taking history. 
So if I look at my history li list, that's Brianna. Carlos is already on the Venn diagram. Taylor's already on there, but Leon is not. So we need to put Leon also in this section of the Venn diagram because Brianna and Leon only take history. All right, next we'll look at this section, my favorite. These are the students that just have math. <clears throat> Notice in the math circle, we already have Taylor. We already have Sophie. We already have Juan. So the only one we're missing is Claire. So we'll put Claire in this section of the Venn diagram. And let's move our red triangle to the last piece. And this is the people, these are the people that have science. So notice that in the science circle, we already have Carlos. We need Maria next. So we'll drag Maria into this section. Juan is already in the science circle here. Van needs to be in this section. And this would be, let me move my red triangle now. This would be our Venn diagram for all three of the subjects that we represented here. I hope you can see the idea was to start in the middle and work our way out for the overlaps and then work our way out for the students that weren't in any overlaps. Maybe they were just in the one class. Okay, let's go to the next slide in the interactive notebook, digital notebook. I want you to see we're dealing with the same students here, okay? I've listed them here. However, we may go back and look at our Venn diagram to answer some of these. So it says, which students are in the intersection of history and math? So let me go back to my Venn diagram. Which students are in the intersection of history and math? So where the history circle and the math circle overlap, that is Taylor. So let's go back to this slide. We'll make a copy of Taylor, and then I'll drag it into this list here. Taylor was in the intersection of history and math. Okay, look at the next one. Which students are the intersection of history and science? Again, go back to my Venn diagram. History circle, science circle overlapping. That is Carlos. So we'll make a copy of Carlos here and we'll put Carlos in this section. Remember, we're looking for students who have both. Now, um, this one I'm gonna do from the list. So what students are the intersection of math and science? So look at your list for math and science. Who has both? Juan has both. Sophie has both. I could make a copy of them if I wanted to, but I don't need to because I've used these two. So Juan and Sophie both have math and science. Now this slide was doing a lot of the same thing we were doing with the Venn diagram. The difference in this slide is we were just using the word intersection, okay? We were using the word intersection instead of just which students have both, okay? Let's look at slide number 20 then. All right, same students, same scenario. This time, which students are the union of history and math? Okay, so here's the deal with union. When you're dealing with the union, it's everybody who take, takes history and everybody who takes math. So everybody who takes history together with everybody who takes math. So history is Brianna. Now this one I'm probably gonna need to make copies. So Brianna took history, Carlos took history. Friends, I'm just making a copy of them and dragging them over. Taylor took history and Leon took history. Okay, now the union means everybody always, everybody who was in history, everybody who was in math. So everyone who was in math was Juan, We'll include Juan in this group. And Taylor, we already have. Sophie. And Claire. And we'll make a copy of Claire and drag it over into my group here.
One of my favorite authors, Bob Goff, has a book called Everybody Always. And when I think of unions, that's what I think of. Everybody who's included in both of them gets included. Okay, so let's look at the next question. Which students are the union of history and science? So history is, we already had the history people. So I'm going to copy them. Brianna, Carlos, Taylor, and Leon. I'm going to drag them because they were history. And now I need the science people. So science was Carlos. We already have. We need Maria. And then we need Juan. We need to put Juan in this group. And then we need a Sophie. And finally, oh, I skipped Van, didn't I? Mm -hmm, I did. Let me put Van in this group too. Because Van was in science. Right? So remember, union means everybody in both groups gets included. So now we'll do the last one, which is the union of math and science. So that is one and Taylor. There we go. Let me grab Taylor, make a copy. And uh, Sophie and Claire. So put Sophie in there. And Claire. And then science, so that's Carlos. Remember, it's everybody who took math, everybody who took science. Oop, there's Carlos. And Maria took science. Okay, Juan took science, but we already have one listed. Next is Van. And then Sophie, and we already have Sophie listed, okay? So union is everybody always, right? Everybody who's in both groups gets included in the union. All right, let's take a look at 21. Now, 21 is the complements. Now, here's what complement means. If I want the complement of history, that's everybody who didn't, who was not in history. The complement is everybody who's not in there. So let's think of it like this, okay? What I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a copy of all of these. I'll show you what I'm thinking here. There they are, okay? And I want the complement of history. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all of these people and I'm just going to delete those who are in history. So Brianna's in history. We're going to delete her. Carlos is in history, we'll delete him. Taylor's in history, so we'll delete him or her. That one's one that can go either way. And Leon's in history, so we'll delete. So the complement is everybody who's left after I took out the people who are in history. All right, let's do the same thing for science, okay? I'm going to make a copy of everybody. I'm going to take out the people who are in science. So we'll be left with the complement, the people who aren't in science. So we'll take out everybody who's in science. Carlos is in science. Let's take him out. Maria's in science. Take her out. Juan, take him out. Van's in science. Take him out. And Sophie's in science. So we'll take him out. Everybody else is in the complement of science because they're in the, they are people who are not in the science class. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, last one is the math. So we'll make a copy of everyone and we're going to subtract or delete out the people who are in math. So Juan is in math. Taylor's in math, Sophie's in math, and Claire's in math. Everybody else gets included in the complement 
because they're not in the math class. And that's how you deal with the complement. It's everybody in the group, and you take out those who are actually in the math class or in the science class. Well, friends, I hope that helps you with our grouping, um, finishing up our Venn diagram, looking at the language of the intersection, the union, the complement. Don't forget on slide 22 that you need to complete the Google form here. The instructions are in the Google form as to what you are uploading. So I encourage you to do that. Let me know if you have some questions. I'd be glad to help. Bye for now.